always make the husband. Though. Nine times out of ten, it's the closest person Logic. to the victim oh, shit. does the deed. God knows I've wanted to kill some wives in my day. Lex parsimonii. What? The law of parsimony. Occam's razor. The simplest explanation is most likely the correct one. Oh. Well, you could have said that without getting all liturgical. <laughs> I'll try to dumb things down from now on. Ha. And try this one on for size. Rusty's razor. How's that go? You blame the guy that's banging her. Ah, of course. The famous Lex Ignoramus. <laughs> Rose's case is cold. Puts a lot of people away that way. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it does. <laughs> uh. 11K to KGBL. We'll take the 288. Go ahead with the further. Oh, okay. There's someone over there. A lurker. Hmm. They capitalize the L. It sounds like it's almost like it's a monster or something. <laughs> like a species. <laughs> the lurker. Belmont High School. We're a shitty fucking high school. It's the first season since Fabergrashning's over. We have to go. I told you, I can't Saturday. I'm busy. He cares about fabrics anyway. Oh my. What are you doing? You like that purple car? Oh god. Why are we chasing him? He was just crouching around a purple car. Maybe he wanted it. Maybe he wanted to look at it. Oh. What the fuck? Alright. Do... Do 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 do. What if I just... Why not my gun out? Why don't I just take my gun and like shoot him in the foot or something? <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm perfectly fine with that, you know. Bodily injuries, I mean, whatever. You know. Comes with a job. Just what I gotta do in my line of work. You know, it's tough being a cop. In LAPD. Alright. Alright, time to die, mister. Nope. Oh, okay. God damn it. You're lucky that ledge was right there. Oh, you son of a whore. No! Yeah. That's right. Get handcuffed. You didn't show that part, but whatever. Car 11K, car 11 King, come in. 11K, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Hey. Ooh. It's green, though. So it's not that purple one. I Meaning he's not a perp. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. What's your name? No, he was crouched by the purple one. It was different. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. Name's Eli Rooney. You've been in trouble with the law before, Eli? Some. What are you doing around here? I like to keep an eye on the children. Strictly paternal? Is it, Eli? Don't sass me, boy. A woman was abducted here last night, Eli, and murdered. And I would love to make you for that, you low-key motherfucker. Whoa, what's but wrong with you, Rusty? I know nothing Rusty. about that. A woman, you say? Yeah. I like them a little younger than that. Turn out your pockets, Eli. Hoo -hoo. Why would I do that? Because I'm about to break your fucking skull, Eli. That doesn't make sense, though. That's not logical. Uh, You're under arrest, Eli. That's not a logical You're process. Get some you know. backup down here, Rusty. We need to get this one downtown and into a cell. Oh. I'll tell them we got a kitty raper coming in. They can roll out the red carpet. Hey, we don't know what he did. We don't know what he did. All he said was he likes to keep an eye on them. You know, maybe he's just a peeper. Come on, can we really blame someone for having eyes? What time did you see the person park the car? Late last night. After school social, maybe 1 a.m. I've been mean, keeping a good eye out lately. We've had problems with the child molester. Oh. Eli Rooney. We've met him. Filthy son of a bitch. He was right here. You didn't he see him? He was here yesterday before the dance. Okay. And you saw park the car? I don't know, sir. I'd like to say yes, but the truth is it was pretty dark. Well, at least you're you honest. Say Rooney is violent? Yes, sir. I would say so, yes. Thanks for your help. All right, let's check this shit. Ooh. 
so much green. Hugo Muller. Oh my god. It was him all along. I mean, we knew it already. It's, hu it's Hugo. It's Hugo. Blood and skin samples. We better get Ray Pinker out here. Hold on, what did he say about the, this again? I didn't wasn't paying attention. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, cool. So what do you have to say about this? Why are you asking all these questions? Am I a suspect? No, you're just, I'm just fucking asking questions. What the hell, idiot? God, what's wrong with you? You sound guilty now, huh? Guilty? Was that you? Was that your was that your work clothes there? Huh? Did you do that? Seems awfully suspicious. You're a janitor. It'd be the perfect alibi for you. You know, you're just a janitor, huh? Who's who's gonna think anything of you, huh? You're just a janitor. Of course you're gonna be here. Of course you're gonna be here, huh? That's right. I'm watching you. Oh, now you're smoking too. That's suspicious as well. I should get back to my beat, detective. Okay. Would you like to say something? Oh, okay. No, that's fine. Just ignore me, fucking asshole. You're not getting back to your beat, by the way. You're looking at the car, you f lying piece of shit. <sighs> if there's nothing I hate more... If there's nothing... Wait. Oh, shit. If there's anything I hate, it's liars. Especially if it's not me. The <laughs> <One laughs> phone. <laughs> on his like mouth there just looked weird. How could I Jobs. help, detective? I need interrogation set up at Central for both suspects being held in the Mahler homicide case. Certainly, detective. I'll get in touch with the watch commander. Thanks, ma'am. Alright. Um, in case anyone heard that, I was just slurping, just slurping, drink a little bit. Alright. Uh, where are we going? The central morgue? Yeah, okay, that seems good. I say we make Rooney for this. I think we should lay it on him. He was near the car, he had her jewelry, the DA will love him for it. Even if he didn't do it? <laughs> Who cares whether he did it? You have kids, Phil? He needs to be taken permanently out of harm's way. And we let Muller slide? For a while. He gets a free pass for now. <laughs> great pl great police work. My gut says Muller. We caught him trying to destroy evidence in his backyard. Yeah. That was his car with the bloody tools in it. I never said it wasn't Muller. Hell, he probably killed his wife. He probably that poor kid of a mother. But he's not in immediate danger to anyone else. Rooney's a threat to every kid at Belmont. He's a peeper rustler. We can pick him up for something else. Really want to run that risk? Yeah, see, I said that. I said he was a peeper. Cole agrees with me. I'm a Cole. Not Cole, that's right. You and me, Cole. We're gonna take over the world, buddy. Alright. Craw kill. Crawl a kill. Hold on. Let's go. Um. Oh, shit. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure it's Hugo. Never trust the Mexican, that's what I say. It's worked out well for me so far in life, so... Mm, we're just gonna ignore that now. I don't know. These just seem like too much of a distraction for me in this playthrough. I'll probably do them again soon, but just... Oh, shit. Here we go. Central Morgue, 6.02 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Mortuary. Night entrance. Look, they're golden, which means... Which means you can enter. For some reason... <gasps> Rusty, do you see this? Do you see this, Rusty? Do you? Oh, shit. 
Shit, don't see me. Okay. Well, oh, stay right there, stay right there, stay right there. And... Ha. Uh, ha. Huh. Huh. Oh, shit. He sees me. No. Ha <laughs> ha, idiot. Wow, you're really bad. You can't even see me. God, I'm so stealthy. Phelps, Rusty, oh. thanks for coming. Can you blood oh. type the shoes that we bagged and see if oh, they're back? Okay. Sure. It'll all be in the report, but I'm assuming you want the details now? Please. Cause of death is strangulation? Correct. Take a look at the samples on the bench. Oh, okay. I will. Maybe I will. Hmm. Okay. Okay, what about him? What? Okay. So, I guess those aren't big enough. What are the normal uh, uses this of this? On boats, mooring lines. Correct. Although Ray says that they're sometimes used as bell ropes in churches. Ooh. Well, Mexicans are pretty religious people, so that does fit. Although we don't know if Hugo's religious, but then again, he's Mexican, so he must be. So are we looking for a, a sailor or a minister? Well, in my experience, sailors seem to have the greater libido. Was Mrs. Muller criminally attacked? <laughs> no external or internal traces of semen. Ooh. Thanks, Mal. If anything else comes up, you let us know. Interesting. Uh, what else do you have to say, Mal? Huh? Huh? Oh. What's this? Ooh, Hannibal Lecter here. Holy shit. Let's take a look at this. Hold on, where's that ding ding go? There we go. We've got to nail this guy. Why? Why? I, I don't get it. Why? Why? Wait, which guy? Why? Why'd you say that right there? I don't get it. <gasps> I'm watching you. I'm watching you. I know what you're all about. I know what all of you are about. I know what your people are about, okay? Huh, what do you have to say, huh? Oh, I'm gonna be silent, okay. I see how it is. Hmm. Don't need this. What? Um, excuse me? Oh, okay, I see how it is. Well, you know what? Next time... Next time you get a call... Next time you next time you call the police from, like, falling off your chair masturbating... Guess what? I'm not gonna be there. That's right. I'm not helping you with that, buddy. Oh, that's not our car. Let's get over here. All right. Uh, let's go to the police station. Let's get this shit over with. Time for the interrogations. Not exactly the happiest of places, the coroner's office. Carruthers is a good man, professional, diligent. If you're working with a pro, it's easy to overlook the grim realities of a place like that. Ooh. Pretty job, that the coroner's. How so? You know, you don't want them enjoying their work too much. <laughs> Wrong kind of man can get off and lonely rattling around a joint full of corpses. Rusty, that's like something out of the pulps. Been reading the same ones as me? I thought you were usually too drunk to get through a magazine. <laughs> you know, if I close one yeah, eye, me too. Swing, you can just about oh, shit. <laughs> oh, God. My stupid partner. Ooh. I don't recall near a first diner. I don't recall ever being in there. Looks like you can go in there though. It's kind of. Right, I'm gonna check that out later. Central Police Station, 8:07 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Wow, that's like two hours past since we went to the coroner's office. Jesus. You better not go soft on me in here, Phil. Didn't seem that long. We'll work the evidence, Rusty. Let him do the rest. Yeah, like, idiot. 
Where's the evidence? Stupid. Oh, you want to go here first? Are they ready? Oh. Molars in two and the perverts in one. Get in there and get a conviction. All right. Uh, let's talk to Muller first. That bum took a swipe at me. I put him down with my sack. All right, cool. <laughs> Here's where we stand, Hugo. Your next door neighbor heard screaming coming from your house. You were burning your blood-stained shoes. You have no one who can confirm your whereabouts last night. Your daughter says you're a violent man. We have everything we need to send you to death row. And all you have to say for yourself is, I didn't do it. <laughs> I swear I didn't kill her. Give me that lie test. I can prove it. Maybe you did and you forgot. You're like, oops, I forgot. Just popped out of my cerebrum. My memory banks. Right. Why did you burn your shoes, Hugo? Because I knew you'd never believe me. Believe you about what? Believe what? It's rabbit's blood. A guy at work brought him in and I oh. skinned him. Shifty eyes, I don't know. I don't know, Hugo. You're looking kind of nervous there. We found your wife's car. There's no reason for you to be nervous Someone right now. Someone parked it at the school late last night. Do you have anything to say about that? Yeah. It wasn't me. Where do you keep your work clothes? I keep them at work in my locker. Ah, uh, ha, ha That's a lie, sir. Enough lies, Hugo. Your overalls put you at the scene of the crime last night. My overalls are in the laundry of my house. Uh, no, they're not. We found them in the car. Green overalls, blood stained, with the initials HM. I was kind of worried that wouldn't work. Your wife's car. <laughs> For some stupid reason. <laughs> they can't be mine. Why, Hugo? Because if they were yours, they'd be in the incinerator too? Yeah. Hugo. Oh, you're not going to answer that question? All right. Your wife was beaten with a tire iron, Hugo. An appropriate choice of tool for a mechanic. I know nothing about any tire iron. Really? Really? You're lying, Hugo. You're going to have to come clean on this. You got no proof. Well, we, we found a tire iron. In the same place where we found your overalls. Does that mean something? Hmm. You don't ask, you never find out. Um, let's see. Let's see here. Uh, whoops, beaten. You know nothing about any tire iron. Really. I'm gonna doubt you. Oh, okay. Die for this, Muller. Ooh. Better give me something if I'm gonna believe your story. All right, then. My conscience is clear. You can't badger me into admitting anything. Maybe I should have looked at the evidence more. Oh, I feel kind of stupid about that now. Hold on. Uh, is there something that would lead me to say otherwise? Bloody shoes. Maybe I should have said that it was there. Because it was found in the trunk. Hmm. God damn it. Hmm. Why, why are you just sitting there? How do I feel about this? Eh, whatever, we'll move on. It's fine. Do you know anything about ropes, Hugo? As much as the next man. I, I was a scout. I learned some more in the army. Uh-huh. Okay. Your wife was strangled with a braided rope, which we found in the trunk of her car. I think you bought that rope specifically to strangle her. 
You can think whatever you want. But that rope has nothing to do with me. Well, uh... Hmm. Butterfly... Yeah, there's nothing we can say that ties you to that. Because he actually mentioned it was in the trunk of the car this time. So uh, it wouldn't be, be pointless for me to just say, well, we found the trunk of the car. What do you have to say about that? <laughs> you already said something about that. <laughs> uh, do I... I don't know. You're if a strangled... Okay, tell me about it. Do you know anything about braided ropes? Oh. Some. Uh, they're mainly used for um, mooring lines, hawsers, you know, that kind of stuff. We don't have much use for them in the machine shop. We use chain hoists. That does seem kind of useful. You know, if he doesn't know much about them, that kind of tells us something. But apparently the game's like, nope, that's that's stupid. Uh, okay, this is not going so well now. Let's see how we do here. Captain, uh, we were on our way to interview Eli Rooney. Yes, folks, I know. This particular fiend is an old acquaintance. Oh, really? You guys I are friends? I reaffirm his belief in the wrathful and terrible God. That's stupid. Whichever way it goes, I'll be dealing personally with him. Why? Why? You want to have sex with him? Huh? Can you, identify the man in this you know, it's illegal this time, right? You look like oh. you've had it rough. You see me asking for your sympathy, boy? No. I was just making a comment. Jeez. Alleged child sex offender. So, we don't actually know. It's still alleged? Okay. Didn't... I don't know, whatever. You're down on your luck, Eli. I had worse. My family ate roadkill during the Dust Bowl. But you have a job. What's that? Broly has to have a job, correct? I had me a job down in San Pedro. I'm looking for something new. Okay. What is it? What is this new thing? Huh? You better not be lying to me, Eli. If I send an officer down there to find out and it turns out you wasted his time... Hell, I ain't lying. That ain't worth lying over. That you found a new job? I don't think I have anything that, that can prove that. <laughs> uh... Looks like I was mistaken. Did anybody make any coffee soon? So what is this new thing you're looking for? This place you worked have a name? Hennessy Marine. You can't misplace big yellow letters HM out front. They Ooh. give you any work wear, Eli? Sure. Green cover oh. on. Dang thing was hot, fella guy's back in the pit. But your name is an HM. So that doesn't make sense. You agree, right? Of course. You ever tie up any of your victims, Eli? Ooh. It's not a nice thing to go calling them. What would you call them? But it's true. I can't say. Ooh. I learned a long time ago not to go talking about the things I like. Talking about it just seems to get people's dander up. Answer the goddamn question, Rooney, before I... Yeah, like this guy. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I do, actually. Short answer is yes. Do you have any preference regarding rope, Eli? I know a good rope from a bad rope, if that's what you mean. That's not what you mean, is it? Any old rope will do me fine. Okay. Farm boy like you, Eli, must prefer McGay for roping, am I right? I prefer braid, tie hitching braid, stays tied. Interesting. Thanks for all that rope information. It was apparently more than that other guy, because few. It's like, oh yeah, that was cool. That was good information. But with the other guy, you know, he tells me things, and it's like, nope, that's wrong. No, you're stupid. You killed Mrs. Muller and stole her jewelry. That ain't Assumptions, Cole. Ain't done nothing like that. Oh, why are you so snobby and smirky, huh? You're a liar, Eli. You needed the money, so you killed her. I've been around some, son. 
You got some evidence that proves I stole that butterfly from that woman? Wait, didn't we... Wait, hold on. Wait. Wait a minute, didn't we, didn't we find the butterfly from you? Hold on, what? Didn't we find it from him? From his pocket or something? Yeah, what? Okay. I mean, that, that's kind of our proof right there. It was in your pockets. Like, what the fuck do you think I'm... What do you expect me to say? Sorry. My mistake. What do you expect me to do? Just take your word for it? Like, you have no job and nowhere to live by the smell of things. And you need money. You've been in trouble before, Eli. Who do you think a jury will believe? I've been in trouble for other things, but I ain't never killed no one. Hmm. Maybe you should. I saw that car coming to the parking lot late last night. It's kind of fun. Man got actually. changed there and put his coveralls in the trunk. I saw him drop the butterfly in the lamplight, and he strolled out, cool as you like. And I went over and I picked it up. So he did steal it. Liar. Okay. As good as done, Mr. Rooney. All it will take now is some paperwork. Interesting. I remember there being more questions with him. That's weird. Uh. Huh. Maybe it's because I screwed up a little bit before. I don't know, but it, it seems like. Let me make sure. Sit down with Hugo for a second. Hugo? You must accept that I'm innocent! Well, hold on. I, I didn't make my decision yet. Uh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, this might be bad. Hold on. Um, locations. Yeah, it's only the police station left. Um, okay. Okay, good. Saving. It's good to see. Uh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to put him down to one round. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. <laughs> nice to hear a police officer saying that. Oh, okay. Shit. Shit. Okay, fuck, fuck, fuck. So, this is a glitch that happens a lot for some reason whenever I fucking play through this shit. It, it lets you, like, doesn't let you talk to one of them or something. This happens a lot in interrogation rooms. It's really stupid. I'm not saying another thing until I've seen an attorney. Yeah, it's a really glitches like this. Doesn't let you fucking Everybody talk to him or sit what down do with think? him to make a decision. My money, Hugo Moller's the number one suspect. The evidence. Yeah, but you wanted to get the other I guy. Idiot! What the hell? Why are you? Oh, okay. So you changed your mind now. I, I guess. Okay. Whatever. That was kind of sudden, but. Uh, what the. F Fuck. I say we bust in uh, okay, hold on. Uh, so it saved, so I think we're okay. I'm gonna have to redo this really quick. I'm gonna have to go back to this really quick, so be right back. Alright, we're back. Let's see if this worked. Um. Need a drink. I got the jitters again. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You must accept that I'm innocent! What the fuck? But I can talk to him just fine. Really? Your case awaits, lad. Go. Yeah, fuck off. Hold on. I want to I want to have a choice here. I'm not being forced into a particular choice game. God damn it. Stupid fucking game. I'm my stumped. money, you go bold for number one suspect. Uh, solid. Let me I make my move. choice. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up. Why? <laughs> God damn it. Why? I wanna make homicide. You know do I really have to do this all over again? I guess I have another opportunity to get things right. <laughs> oh. Shit. What now? But I, you I don't hold. think I can. I don't think I can go back there. I think I have to. Uh. Your overall progress will be retained. 
So like, would it still remember this? Um, oh my God. Number one suspect. The evidence is solid. I think. <sighs> Hold on. We'll be right back. I gotta figure this out. A woman who stabbed her husband and pushed him in front of the car. That's the cop that caught her. I just the point of this is the same guy, the same drunk asshole who tried to uh, who tried to lie to me about you know being best buds back in the day, get me to fucking buy shit for him. Yeah, that's right. I remember you, buddy. And then he was in the other, he was in that fucking bar with like a business suit on, reading a newspaper. And now he's here. Who the fuck are you? Who are you? Ah! Okay, so upon looking at my stats for the Golden Butterfly, I guess it saves, um... I guess it saves for when you last did it, like it overwrites the time before, because, okay, let me just, let me just spell it out for you right now here. If you charge this guy, uh, the douchebag out there inside the room, uh, Captain Donnelly or whatever, he loves it. He loves it before he kisses your ass. But, you know, I'm not a bitch like that, so I didn't want that. I wanted to get Hugo Muller. And plus it made more sense to get him. Um, so, I wanted to go that route and say fuck you to him. But, uh, apparently I did that last time. And when you do that, it significantly decreases the amount of stars you get. That's kind of the penalty there, other than him not liking you. And, uh, so I thought, okay, fine. You know what, if it's like that, I'll rectify it. I'll be a little bitch this one time, but I'll do it begrudgingly. Eli Rooney, I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Deirdre Muller. You wanna put me back in the stir that badly, boy? You go ahead and try. I'll beat that rat. I ain't a killer. Probably will. <laughs> Cause I was totally fucking, uh, I was totally bullshit picking you, but whatever. <laughs> oh shit. Rusty? Okay then. Damn, Rusty, what's your problem, man? Such a douche. Um, and yeah, I never ah, felt. Oh. Galloway. Here you go. Congratulations, Arathan. Drink, boys. Go fuck yourself. I think you'll receive a I did that reluctantly, you piece one, of gentlemen. shit. In the meantime, I'll speak to the DA about expediting the passage of the case. Yeah, go kill we yourself. need swift and merciless justice for poor Deirdre. Merciless. Yay, LABD. Uh, I'm so glad I represent you guys. Nah, I represent myself. I mean, you a bitch. Oh. I... Still got three stars. Hold on, that that's the way it worked, did it not? I no, I'm pretty sure if you pick him, if you pick Eli, then your stars go up uh significantly because Captain Donnelly is kissing your ass. And if you pick Hugo, then he's angry at you because he's a bitch. And then it goes down. I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. Maybe that's a different one? <laughs> Oh, why did I get three stars still? I, I checked and I had three stars last time. I know I did this the I know I did this the right way, um, before, and got like five stars. So, I guess it overwrit that or my files got screwed up. I don't know, but I mean I got three questions wrong. What the fuck? And apparently I missed a clue. But I only got three questions wrong. How does that get me? Uh Okay. <laughs> um I'm debating whether I should go back on it, but I don't know if I want to play through all that shit again. So Uh We'll see. I might do it. Uh but for now, we'll just move on. Begrudgingly, so